is Tyler in the video. Today I'll be bringing you a review of set 75338 Ambush on Ferrix. The set came out this year in 2022 and comes with 679 pieces. So we'll first start off, here are the instructions in that weird white look now. And here is uh, the box. So we'll start off with the minifigures. So we'll first start out here with Cassie and Andor himself, the main character of the show. Um, so there will be spoilers in this um, review. So if you have not seen Andor, then don't watch this review. But anyhow, we have Cassie and Andor here. This is him on Ferrix in the first couple episodes with the longer hair. And uh, this is when he first meets Luthen and they get attacked by the, the guards. Um, so... Yeah, pretty simple outfit. He's got leg printing. Um, but uh, yeah, I believe he has a double-sided face. He does, yes. It's just more like an angry face. So yeah, that's it for him. It's pretty simple. So we will move on to the next figure. Next up here, we have Luthen. He is the guy who um, is finding out uh, about Andor and he's uh, part of the rebel group. And so he's uh, kind of contracting Andor out um, on a mission, especially in this uh, first couple episodes where uh, the set is based off of. And um, yeah, he looks pretty good. Um, I like I like this gun that they use. I don't know why they don't use it more often, um, but I like it. He's got leg printing, torso printing, and then he has some printing on the back of his torso, unlike uh, Cassian Andor. But I believe he has a second face. He does, he has more of a uh, mad face. So, uh, yeah, that's it for Luthen. So, let's move on to the next figure. Next up in our final figure, we have Ciro. Now, he's the, the, the commander of these this uh, force, this force from, um, I forget what planet, but it's the planet that Cassian had killed the one guy on. Um, and, uh, yeah, he has been sent to uh, arrest Cassian Andor for the killing of those two other guards. Um, and, yeah, he, he's a commander of the force, so... He looks pretty good. He kind of looks like a Bespin guard, just with the orange outlines. Um, but yeah, he's got printing on the back of his torso as well. No leg printing, but he does have a pistol. Um, and he does not have a double-sided face. So yeah, pretty simple for him, but gets the job done. So let's move on to the set. Now onto the set here. We'll move the minifigures out of the way. And uh, we'll start out with the speeder, just because it's the smaller part of this uh, review here. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It's a very interesting designed speeder, one that I don't think I've really seen on any other uh, speeders that LEGO has made. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Just got the underside here with some engine detail here. Um, then you do have this like wire that kind of comes through and it's, they use the whip piece and you have to like wrap it around this, this, uh, this beam. So it's interesting. Um, then they have like the double bladed or double sided uh, lightsaber hilt things here they just use to put down there. Um, but yeah, simple speeder, but interesting, definitely different. So um, yeah, one interesting thing though is um, you can see this red pin through there. So that's kind of strange, but um, yeah, that's, that's the speeder. And now we'll move on to the gunship. This thing is definitely very interesting. Um, it definitely gives me vibes of a Republic gunship but it's not the same size, it's uh, smaller. Um, but yeah, so I guess we'll start out at the front. We got this gun here, doesn't move or anything. Um, then you got the, uh, the cockpit, so you can move that gun out of the way. Got the inside here, got some extra uh, studs in there. I was putting them in the, like, the cockpits, but got your control panels and stuff all in there. You got um, a seat there, you got a container. And uh, what I think that's, uh, I guess, a fire extinguisher. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, it moves pretty nice there. The ship does have very good shaping. I'm pretty impressed with what they were able to do with this. Um, but yeah, you have the gun on the top that can move up and it can move to the sides. Um, then you have the uh, launchers. So shoot one at the camera. Yeah, they come out pretty fast too. And they use the uh, rounded tiles for these guns. So. It's definitely interesting there. They usually use just standard studs. But uh, yeah, the, the doors come down on the sides like this. So then you can see on the inside and it does it on the other side as well. Close those up. 
the wings do fold up into the landing position. Um, so yeah, there's no like stopping point, so they kind of run into the gun. So you do have to just put them up like that and then move the gun back center. But yeah, definitely an interesting look for this ship there with the wings folded up. And then you do have the back so you can grab at that and pull it down. You got an extra little pistol back here. Um, and you can put another gun on this clip here. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this ship. It's got good detail and, um, yeah, nothing on the bottom or anything. But yeah, that's it for the ship. So let's, uh, let's, uh, get my final thoughts and finish up this video. Well, that is going to do it for this set. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely like the video if you liked this review. Comment down below your thoughts on the set and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So my final thoughts on the set, I would say it's a great set. I actually really like this set. The speeder is a definitely interesting and new design. You get your main three characters from Andor. Um, you get a gunship, which is very nice. It does, it does the job very well and has some good features to it. Um, and it has very good detail. Uh, the only thing I would say is just the $70 price tag is, it looks heavy. But this ship is is definitely worth it because the piece count is almost, it's 679, which is 21 pieces off of being uh, 700, which would work with like price per piece and all that. Um, so like like piece count wise, it's it's really good. But also the size of the ship is, is actually much bigger than I thought it was going to be. But I've seen it in videos and other people's reviews. I thought the ship was going to be much smaller than it actually is. So you'd be surprised by the size of the ship. So like you can see Cyril right there next to the ship. Um, and he's actually pretty small in comparison to the ship. Um, when from other reviews, I get the notion that the ship is very small um, and definitely not worth $70. But I would say the ship is worth $70. So the price tag, I don't think is a big deal. I think it's worth um, the price that it is given. So yeah, that's about it for this review. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you.